Controversy continues this morning over the use of a hypnotist at Port Adelaide AFL Club's pre-season training. One of the country's most respected psychologists says it's dangerous for players' health, but the hypnotist behind the session says it's harmless fun. Port Adelaide says it was fun, team bonding with a hilarious outcome. Three willing volunteers decided they'd test the power of the mind with stage hypnotist Isaac Lohman. One, two, fly away. The players struggle to pick up footies, believing they're far too heavy. <laughs> Much to the amusement of their teammates. And how about this Irish jig? Watch out, Riverdance. And when Chad Wingard is told he's being traded to another club, there's no doubting his allegiance. <laughs> The club says the team enjoyed the performance and Wingard is feeling good about it. Whatever he said became your reality. When he said that we, uh, I couldn't pick up that ball, I should be able to do that, but um, I couldn't pick up the ball and I was trying to kick the goal, it wouldn't leave my hand and I was trying everything and trying to fight the hypnotism and trying to fight everything but I couldn't do it. It's very, it's very cool what he was doing so it's just different. Sure is different. We're joined by Sunrise psychologist Michael Carr, Greg in Melbourne. And in Adelaide, the hypnotist at the centre of all this, Isaac Loman. Good morning to you both. Now, Michael, you've spoken out against this club activity. What is your issue with it? OK, nothing against Isaac personally, but um, most medical hypnotherapists and most psychologists who do this uh, don't, in fact, approve of stage hypnosis. And it, there are three reasons. One is that it acts as a deterrent uh, to people from using hypnosis. There's no assessment of the subject's mental suitability beforehand. And there are profound psychological and physiological changes that can occur that need to be professionally monitored. And our view is that uh, people with no training uh, haven't got the capacity to do that. Right. Isaac, what do you say to that? Um, is, is what you're doing dangerous in any way? Not at all, Sam. Uh, in fact, what I'm doing is, is just har harmless fun, I guess. Uh, from where Michael's coming from, and I certainly respect his point of view, that in hypnotherapy there are certain uh, pitfalls that you, know, you want to be conscious of. But with entertainment, it's a totally different ball game. It's really just focusing on the fun. All the suggestions are removed afterwards, and it's really left at that. It's, it's just uh, that harmless fun. What about, it's, except the Chad Wingard, when you told Chad he was being traded to another club, it's all quite funny except for that mm. bit. It, it, would that ever mm. harm him mentally long term, you know, it, when he comes out of this hypnosis? <laughs> Not at all. In fact, I, I can really liken it to a good movie because if you sit down and you watch a really good movie, your, uh, your, your current reality is put on hold for a moment, you're open to suggestion, and you go through that emotional roller coaster of a good movie. And you might see physiological effects from that where you might feel sad and start crying. But at the end of the movie, that's it. It's done. It's over. It's never going to affect you moving forwards. It's exactly the same with my comedy hypnosis show. Mm, OK. Well. <laughs> Michael, um, if, if Chad's OK with it, why, why aren't you? Oh, look, I mean, you wouldn't have been able to do that, Isaac, in Israel, for example, where you need a licence to practise hypnosis. From 2005 to 2008 in Australia, it was uh, heavily regulated. For some bizarre reason, it was deregulated. The reality is the Australian Society of Hypnosis would actually prohibit me from being present while you are doing this. That's how seriously they take it. So I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. Mm, OK. I guess we will. <laughs> that's, well, that's quite a polite debate. Thank you, gents, for talking to us today.